New tonight, did a man go too far when trying to stop a dog fight? The man, who has not been identified by police, claims he was also bitten by the German shepherd named Duke. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig went to White Lake and tells us Duke's family believes he went too far and that cost the dog his life. He's just not there anymore, and it's just an empty, sad feeling. Like my dog's gone. To Craig McElmurray, his dog Duke, a nine-year-old German Shepherd, was like family. But just before noon Tuesday, we're told Duke got out of the backyard and headed to a pit bull that lives next door. His owners had him outside on a leash, and police say Duke and that dog were fighting when a friend of the neighbor hit Duke with a baseball bat. My dog was on the ground, and he was beating him. And I pleaded and pleaded and begged, and I was screaming and pleading with him to stop, and he just really kept beating him harder as I pleaded. He is sick enough to beat a dog down. And when my mother is screaming at him, begging him, crying, please stop, I will get him, please stop. He's not doing anything, he's down, he's done. And the man kept beating him. He was already knocked out. Stop beating the dogs, please stop. I wanted to just drag, I could have saved my dog at that point, but he just kept beating him and pounding on him with a metal baseball bat. According to Duke's family, he and the neighbor's pit bull have a history of aggression. The two male dogs have been in two previous fights and they try not to let them out at the same time, but there's not much to the fence to keep Duke contained and he jumped out. The man who hit Duke with the baseball bat tells police he only hit him twice, but Linda says it was more like two dozen blows. This man at this point was acting like a, an animal. You know, he wasn't acting like a human. White Lake police are now gathering information and evidence that they will forward to the prosecutor, and it will include examination results of Duke's body that may show how many times he was hit by the bat. The potential wrongdoing is, is going to be possibly if the gentleman uh, that was swinging the bat, either he was protecting himself or his dog, or if he went just a little too far. That's what we're going to be wrestling with. In White Lake, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. 7 Action News tried contacting the neighbors who owned the pit bull, but we were unable to reach them.